Hello Virgo, this is Gypsy Spirit here and I'm ready to give you your love reading for the month of April. And just to let you know, um, as I do on all my videos, that this is a general read, it's not meant for everybody, and you pick and choose what resonates with you and what doesn't, just toss it. Um, if you would like your own personal reading, go to the description box below this uh, video and you will find my web address and you can go visit my website and have a, a big uh, many options for you to get your own reading um, and also if you like this video please hit the like button if you'd like to subscribe hit the subscribe button that way you'll uh, get a notice every time I put something out but let's go ahead Virgo and get started I have drawn from my romantic tarot deck and it looks like um, you, you have a nine of cups. So it looks like you had a lot of dreams and fantasies of, of, of what you wanted in your relationship. And um, it looks like you've, you've been with somebody, for some of you, you've been with somebody for a little while. And um, you've come through a lot of storms, but it's like you're still wearing a mask. They're wearing a mask, and you're wearing a mask. You're still putting, it's like you're, you both are like guarded or something, you know? I mean, it's like you have your guard up, and so do they. And you have a six of swords in reverse. So this is telling me that, um, you know, I mean, it's like your guard is still up. There's, there's conflict. There's, there's, it's like you don't trust each other. There's something in this relationship, something about your past or their past that you're, it's like this relationship, there's something that's causing you to not feel that you can totally trust this person. Um, and you see the facade, you see the mask. Oh, my, my dog has just brought my shoe to me. I just got a little puppy. <laughs> oh, puppies. <laughs> um, but you see the facade in this relationship and in this person. And it's like you can see the pain that this person is capable of bringing to you. And, and, and it's like you, you just know it's there. Your, your next card, I mean, this is your six of um, swords in reverse. This is what it would look like, where, you know, it looks like things are going good. You know, you've come a, a little ways, and it's all good. But then with it re in reverse, not so much. Um, but then you also have, so you have two cups here, uh, five of cups in reverse. So w what I'm seeing, and this is what it would look like if it were, see how they're, like, fighting, and, and there's this gruntleness. Um, there's, it's like your emotions were, uh, scattered. Uh, something happened where you, you just weren't able to trust this person. You're not able to trust this person. And there was, uh, some chaos for a little while. And now you've just, you're, you're, you, you, you've just let it go. I mean, you, you've come to a point in the relationship where you don't trust this person. You don't know if you ever will, but you're in a relationship. Um, sometimes we stay in relationships, maybe out of fear, uh, being on our, being by ourselves, or you know, maybe you really do truly love this person, and they've hurt you, and you have hopes that they will come back, or you know, that they will change, and. Um, I got to tell you, Virgo, they're not going to change, you know? I mean, it's like you're the one that's going to treat yourself with high integrity and self-respect and self-love. They haven't shown you that in this relationship. They try to make you think that they do have, like, all this love for you. and um, But there's somebody else in the picture, I can tell you right now. Or somebody else, or either it be an ex-boyfriend, ex-ex-wife, or a past lover. But and I'm also picking up that there's some sort of family thing going on. Like um, 
a, a mother is involved. Uh, the, and again, you have to, this is a general reading, you have to take what, what belongs to you and what doesn't, go to, you know, toss it out. But for some of you, there's like a mother-in-law or a mother that is like, in this relationship and causing chaos or a family member could even be a sister or a brother but i'm really picking up like a mom um so you gotta you gotta decide you know are you gonna stay in this relationship and continue to put up with this bullshit because this person's not going to change okay they, they they're gonna like ride on your coattails and they're the ones I, i'm picking up that they are the ones really that are afraid to be on their own, afraid to let go of the relationship. So they're trying to hang on to you when you know that you can do far better. But for some reason, you know, you, it's like you love the idea of feeling needed, but then, you know, you got this issue with somebody else in the family, like maybe a mother or, or relative or something. Um, for some of you, there may even be a kid. So you have to ask yourself, is it really worth it? To put yourself through this. I mean, because you deserve much better than this. You deserve to have a, a, a loving and peaceful life. But damn it, every time you turn around, there seems to be some sort of drama in this relationship. <laughs> so it's like, do you want to stay with this drama or do you want to move on and be to a higher and happier ground? Um, so that's where you're at, Virgo. Um, I hope this helps. If you have any comments to make, please leave me a comment. I always answer them. And again, if you want your own personal reading, you can go to my website and get that. Um, until next time, Virgo, please take care of yourself and show yourself lots of self-love and, and um, self-respect and high integrity. Okay, bye-bye.